Look at this. Ooh. We're here in our jammies. And so one thing that you've learned about me a little bit is that I love hot chocolate and I have always loved hot chocolate. So I felt in high school, so now over a decade ago, that I needed to make sure that I knew a very specific recipe and mm. perfect hot chocolate. And I feel like you I You better have, start making and talking at the same I time. I feel like I have done I'm that. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so. <laughs> Um, of course, you need your Christmas mug, and do not use water. I mean, don't use water. Go don't for it. Water. Use the milk. Don't, don't, don't use water in the packets. I mean, I'm using some pre-prepared stuff. I'm not, you know, doing raw cocoa and sugar and whatever. So mm -hmm. I am using some help, but it's a concoction I feel like is the best marriage of all of this. So I did pour some milk in another mug. So I use pretty much whatever milk I have on hand, which is either 2% or whole milk. I'm not a, too much of a skim milk drinker. So this is 2% milk. I already popped one in the microwave. And this is not my microwave, but I will tell you the one at home, specifically a minute 47 seconds is the exact oh, for length goodness of time sake. for the perfect temperature of hot cocoa, not too hot, not too cold. So I'll just put this in. I think I can do it for a minute 30 on this fancy microwave that I don't know how to use. So this one we already put in for a minute mm -hmm. 47. So I'm hoping that my calculations are correct. Okay. I have a mixture of three, you know, you can get these at the grocery store. So I kind of do a little bit, a little bit, depending on the size of your mug. So this is just, you know, a chocolate milk powder. Um, I do about a scoop and a half of this. Okay, and then I do a scoop of chocolate malted milk. So this is kind of came to be because I like malts instead of shakes. You put mm. malted milk in them. And so you can just get malted milk at your grocery store. You can get vanilla, but get the chocolate flavor of the malted milk and a stir kind of halfway to get the powders all married together. Mm -hmm. This is like diabetic coma here. I mean, a little bit, a little but, bit. but you know what, tis the season. And so I also then finish it off with the chocolate syrup. Oh. Yes, the chocolate syrup. I feel like it just kind of dissolves a little bit better instead of just having so much powder in there. Uh, and I'm then a... I kind of judge it, you know, like with your coffee, you're not a coffee drinker, based on the, the color. So oh, like this, I know I need darker. a little bit darker. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I need a little bit darker and just kind of stir that together. Oh, and I see you've got some marshmallows there. Yes. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that you don't have peeps. Thought that was your thing. I do peeps. the peeps, but you can't get them right now. They're oh, on those essentially darn back order, peeps. or the 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 f manufacturer is taking a little bit of a delay because of COVID, and that's unfortunately another travesty of 2020. Is I don't have a peep to put on your hot chocolate for you. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. So I would say finish it off with a peep because the sugar kind of dissolves and the marshmallow gets a little puffy, and then you have a cute little character floating around your hot cocoa, whether it's a bunny or I think. Are you gonna trees. make me wait longer? here I mean yes come on now okay I got to do the marshmallows I'm gonna finish it off with marshmallows okay. or you can finish it off with whipped cream and oh, sprinkles yeah. you missed so the whipped cream typically okay. I ask people how they like Ooh. it either with whipped cream or marshmallows See, I would like marsh I would like whipped cream well, I don't it? have any I just brought oh. the marshmallows I just oh. had a guess for you chocolate hot chocolate fail let's see if there's a success though ready I'm gonna get my own here Mm, that is like my childhood. Is it? It it's is. It's so good. And the mug is nice and warm in my pajamas. This is a banner day because of you, Jackie. Ah! Well, I'm telling you, you know, I did this in high school. I went through multiple different versions of hot cocoa. Do you remember in the movie, The Santa Claus, where the, the character who plays one of the elves at the North Pole says, it took me 200 years to create the best recipe. Well, it only took me four years in high school to create the best hot chocolate recipe. I went through versions, how much of this, how much of that. And I this mean, is what we ended up with. What do you think? Think. Most girls in Goshen were like out on the street doing crazy stuff. You were at home making hot chocolate. I love that That's about you. That's what happens in Goshen. I don't think so. Well, enjoy some hot it cocoa. It is yummy. Cheers. Here we yes. go. Clickety Cheers. click. Click, click, click. Love it. Well, coming up.